Terrific having William Shatner as my guest this evening. Thank you, Paul. Star Trek, the series. Interesting story because after two seasons, after two years. Three. Yeah, but after two years, it was canceled. Oh, and through, excuse me. And all the mail. I thought I caught you there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> two, one, Paul. Uh, it was because all this mail came in, and it sa which was wonderful because it saved the series for another. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good legend, and that's, uh, that should never be, you know, one should never, never st stop that story. Uh, the truth is somewhere in between, I suppose. Uh, a, funny, a funny anecdote about that is um, the series was... Um, was quite popular when it was on, of course. Uh, not as popular as it became, uh, strangely enough, as when it went into syndication, it became much more popular than it was when it was in, on network show. But uh, I had this cab over this truck. That means it's the, the camper slides onto the truck. Mm -hmm. And it can be taken off by lowering four legs, jacking the legs up, you raise the, the camper, and you can drive the truck out from underneath. And the camper stands there, like this, on four legs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the end of every evening, I'd drive to my little lunar module, <laughs> <laughs> get out of my camper. You were still living Star Trek. Oh, well, really, and I was in yeah. there, and I was, and I was alone and, and homesick, and I was in my room in this little thing and with my dog. And one morning, I heard, uh, and I was, you know, it was 8 o'clock in the morning, which is the beginning of the of a sleeping time for a, a theater actor. I open the door and I was, what is it? And it's this little kid, you know? <laughs> Are you Captain Kirk? <laughs> no, I'm not Captain Kirk, no, let me on. I, is this your spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, yeah, it's my spaceship. Okay, can I see your spaceship? <laughs> I said, come in here. A little kid of five or six came in, and I showed him the oven, and I said, that's my transport room, and I showed him the shower, and this is where I come in, and, and then my TV sets my control when I get out of here, oh, and the kid great. left, and, it, you know, this is, that was about, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years ago. Star Trek, the motion picture, we, yes. you've just completed, $15 million. That's two well, for Shatner, two for... Uh-oh, uh, I'm off. How much? By ten, at least. Twenty-five million dollars. At least twenty-five million, and we don't know. And it's, there's, the end is not yet in sight because the special effects are being put in. It's at least twenty-five million dollar uh, picture. It's going to be the biggest picture that Paramount will uh, release this come, this year. Your series ended when? The series ended in nineteen in the in the, in the spring of seventy. Uh, spring of seventy. Winter so of it's 70. Uh, it's about nine years. Nine years old. Since they waited to do the. Uh, do you think Star Wars? Oh, gave it the impetus to do Star Trek. I think Trek. anything that you imagine that uh, that if you wish to if you wish to waste your time speculating how did Star Trek get a yeah. <laughs> made a movie, uh, anything you wish to s s think on probably was part of it. Uh, as the increasing popularity of Star Trek uh, happened, uh, then the people at Paramount began to say, "Hey, we got a we got a potential money maker here." I wonder how much money could be made out mm -hmm. of Star Trek. Should we release it as a series? Should we put it on TV as a movie? Or should we do it as a feature? So those questions must have been going on in their mind. And um, Was it tough getting the two of you back together to do this? Did you not? Well, Leonard Nimoy never really wanted to do it. He was on to a highly successful career without being Mr. Spock. And he always talked about putting, he never wanted to put the ears back the on. Years. You know. Those were. Some years. And those were some years, and but that identification for him was not a pleasant one, uh, particularly. Uh, you know, uh, he's a serious actor and a serious man, and and there, there, there. At one point, he just, uh, as we all did, kind of resented it. You know, and mm -hmm. said, "Hey, you know, it's been off for years. That's enough. We weren't making any money on it." I, on the other hand, had had such a marvelous experience with the series with the the various mm -hmm. demands that had been made on me as an actor that I was anticipating having some good fun as an actor.